Hi, my name's Richard. Hi, I'm Joe. My name's Aaron. I'm Harry. And, and we're here to talk about men's mental health stats. We'll be playing more or less, so we will hear a statistic, discuss whether or not we think uh, the true number is higher or lower. 50% of people with mental health problems experience stigma. I think it's got to be more. It has I think to it's be got more to be well. more, yeah. I don't believe that it's only half. And that is very high. I didn't expect it to be that high. I, I thought it would definitely be more than 50%, but not 9 out of 10 people. 50% of the suicides in the UK are men. That's shocking, but I think it's a lot higher. Like, men aren't talking about it, so it's getting worse and worse. I don't know. Uh, this is one of those things that I, I, don't, I don't know whether I can really guess. Again, that's awful. Yeah, that's way too high. Yeah, that's just atrocious. And it does come down to men are less likely to want to talk about it. Yeah. It's not surprising a statistic. I just really don't like the idea that people are, are trapped in their own heads feeling like they can't ask for help because it's not the manly thing to do. We really need to get the message out there that it's it's okay to have these issues and it's yeah. okay to talk about it. I think if you told that statistic to anyone who's dealing with some issues, they'd be shocked as well. Mm. It's like hopefully a number that high would encourage more men to Talk, please. I mean, that's definitely coming up a lot that people just need to start talking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, around the world, one man dies from suicide every five minutes. I think that's um, that's definitely true, if not higher. Because um, I think, isn't it true that 75% of suicide victims are men? I, I, I think it is more as well, to be honest. Okay, so that's 90 men every 90 minutes of football. That is... One a minute is an incredibly high One a minute, statistic. Yeah. And incredibly sad as well when you think about yes. it. Yes. Half of men aged 16 to 24 would prefer to be known for having a short fuse than vulnerable. I hope that's lower. Like of any statistic I've heard, I think that one's been the worst. Yeah. Because it's been like you would rather appear aggressive <laughs> it's okay to not be okay yeah. like you can't help it if you're experiencing those kinds of issues if you're doing that people might not want to talk to you because they might feel like you might snap at them that's just not very nice is it no of everything we've heard that has genuinely like hit me in the chest i think the root mindset comes from the fact that being vulnerable is seen as not a masculine trait and, and it, the discussion needs to really focus on the fact that you are not any less of a man or any less of a person mm -hmm. because you have mental health conditions in the way that you're not any less of a man for having the flu. There's this stigma around it that being vulnerable with a mental health condition is seen as emasculating. And yeah, it just the, the education around it all needs to be tighter, if that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, we just need more representation of men being vulnerable just to swap the image that you have to be masculine, you have to be aggressive. Mm. Uh, one in eight people will experience a mental health problem each year. I think it's higher. I think it's probably about one in four. Yeah, I think that even if you're not diagnosed with an actual mental health problem, that you could feel mm. signs of depression. And obviously everyone has their ups and downs. I think one of the issues as well is that a lot of people won't come forwards with mental health um, problems, especially men, because they feel it's a stigma. I don't think one in four of my mates would come forward with the issue, but that doesn't necessarily mean that one in four um, don't have the issues. If they would get into serious depths, I think someone would reach out in my friend group. That's one. Movember have funded 500 mental health projects in the UK and Ireland around the world. I'd like it to be more. Yeah, I like it to be, <laughs> I'd like it, well. I'd like it to be more than that. That's a very, very good number, but I'd like it to be more. That's a lot better of a number. I feel a lot nicer about that. Yeah, it's definitely the best statistic we've had so far. If we can encourage men to utilize those services that are being funded and actually begin to admit that it's okay and that it's normal. I think the main theme that's been coming up here for all the stats is we keep on mentioning you need to talk to someone. Obviously talking to your friends is a great way to start. Yeah. Uh, there are a lot of services that are available, the Student Wellbeing Centre, they've got their drop-in hours, there's a uh, the big white wall, there's Samaritans, uh, you can go and see your GP. If you need those services, they're there for you. Too often you hear the term like man up. Men feel like they should be stronger. Um, and hold the emotions in. Obviously, it's okay to feel this way. They should come out and say they should show their emotions to people. And there's nothing 
that makes you any less of a man by showing emotion or to keep it all inside because you think it's going to make you look tough is dangerous for yourself. It's not good for you. So to get it out, talk about it, receive like the help that you need. I think more men need to realize that it's okay to do that.